Welcome everybody to another 144 Analytics Fibonacci video. Uh, in this video, we're going to take you through the last three trading days. Uh, nothing better to prove that uh, the Fibonacci retracements are the underlying structure of all markets, in our opinion. We'll try and prove that to you. Um, but you get a lot more action within uh, these charts here on the shorter term. So first off, we'll start on the five minute chart here and we'll go to the high that was on Friday when they hit 61.8 to the contract high. Now following the 61.8 rule, we would be looking for 61.8 the other way. We got that and more, um, but that was at least the first target down. Now with this break, we can start measuring back up. So if we take a retracement here and we just take it down to what the lowest low was, we can see here that 23% was all it could get to um, May 2nd. Um, this was in the morning. But the point is that this is where it did stop. 23% tells you markets, again, this is in a very small scale but the, uh, the results should still be the same, that anything from 23 tells you that the market is very weak in this case. And that's where we came into this very sharp break to start that day. Now, when we go back and we still take the next rally, even without this being anything here, what's above it becomes that much more important because we'll be looking for what is going to be the resistance? Is the market going to just go up through 38 and tell us that the whole breakdown is over? Um, in this case, we hit 23% here. Now, again, this is so minute in scale that this is 52 is the level here. They went up to 54 half. So, I mean, it, it may look like it violated it, but uh, in reality, not really. So the break from here should have taken us to new lows, and it did not. So two things here. One, 78.6%. Always um, something to keep an eye on whenever you're looking for that new low or new high because when they don't when they turn from that point you it, sometimes it's the end of the whole move and they turn it all the way back up and vice versa or it just takes it to that next retracement since we already went to 23.6 we'll be looking for 38.2 percent which i mean you're there so here we go um today's high uh, this is being May 3rd. Now, again, 38% should take you to a new low, which it did throughout this day. Now, here's what I wanted to show you. Just We'll go to the one-minute chart, and we'll start at this high here, just to show you how, how important it is and how you're dealing with an underlying structure of the market. That's as simple as I can make it. Uh, you take here, we just start this day, which was 38 back of the day. First retracement here, 38 back, 55 that went to a penny through it, okay? So then the next new low, 38% a penny through it. Uh, next new low, 38%, actually a quarter cent shy of it. And then we have here where we get down to 23%. Again, what do we say about that? That's where usually it breaks from those that do make the new lows give you the sharpest moves. And this indeed is what did happen here into the end of the day. Now, um, as you can see down below here, we still have 61.8. Uh, to watch out for down around 26 but in the bigger picture because of what we put out in the weekly um, we're coming from 78.6 a failure up there we are, we're still looking down here for 5 1598 now here's a couple key things a fair warning on this that is you are dealing with the most minute scale and you don't want to get into the situation where you cannot see the forest for the trees. So 
Keep in mind the big picture, always the big picture. Where are we? What are the long-term levels? Um, you know, has anything really changed there? Uh, and then work yourself down. And if you start getting really messed around uh, by shorter term retracements and everything, then what you should do is go back to the big picture and run it all over again. Now, uh, as you see here, we're coming off a 38%. And what we did say was in our weekly letter to let you know that was when this market does indeed turn, it will start to hold 38%. Now, we're not saying that the market is completely turning over here, but this is the first sign. Now, whether you want to trade these things on the most minute level is up to you, but you do need to know where these levels are and what has happened and as if anything is changing. It's going to be extremely important uh, just to get you to stay ahead. As we've said, these turns are going to happen in the most minute level to start before they start showing up in the bigger levels. It, um, also, uh, another thing, you know, just keep an eye on uh, all of our other posts. You know, we, like I said, we, we believe if whatever you're using should work on every time scale and every market. So we've done posts on Bitcoin, the NASDAQ 100, the stock Tesla. It's all, it, it's in everything. And this just proves it. And today's video, we just wanted to show you what it is into the down to the most minute levels and what had happened all the way even just into a one minute chart into today. So uh, keep us uh, in mind here with uh, anybody else you know. Please uh, let others know about us. And uh, the more uh, we can grow, the more we can get stuff out there for everyone. So for now, have a great day and uh, look for us again.